Hey guys, welcome to the review show. My name's Awesome. Welcome back to the show commentary for the Terminator Zero. Or is it just Terminator Zero? One of the two. Terminator Zero. That's no, the. No, the. Um, because there's there's going to be more than one Terminator. Um, so, uh, what are your thoughts on the series so far? I really like it. It's getting intense. It's getting to a good spot. We're at uh, episode three, uh, which is model 103, the title of the episode. Um, and where we left off, the kids are locked in a, in a, an old kind of underground 1950s, uh, a bomb shelter that they made into like a city, um, in Tokyo. And we're right on the cusp of, you know, the bombs falling in Los Angeles and, and Skynet becoming self-aware and, and having the Russians attack each other and, 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 and a counter strike and knock out mankind. So that's where we're at. Yes. We've got to convince the AI to take out Skynet and uh, the Terminator is going to try to find the kids first to kill the kids because they probably the become leaders is in the uh, heavily fortified place that the Terminator can't get into. Yeah. Maybe. I, I still think he could walk right through I, that place. It didn't look that bad. The only thing that would probably have difficult is that door that 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 hard the two keys. Yeah. Yeah. That's you know, probably he the could only probably thing. punch through it. Maybe. Yeah, it's, you know. He's probably way more advanced than that um, whole entire place. But the kids probably have some leadership in the future, and they are probably helping win the war in the future. So maybe that's part of it, too. So probably get rid of the future leaders and next go for the creator. Um, but um, in the descriptions here, it says Malcolm uh, Convise and uh, Corico, however you say his name, which is uh, uh, Rosario Dawson's character, okay. uh, about his uh, re uh, reassuring uh, nightmare. The the three children uh, can't continue their undergrounding t uh, trick, unaware of looming danger it's a little hard to read when it's far away from me but yeah let's get right into this i got some um puree here black um blackberry oh yeah freaking healthy today all right i have, probably have diabetes <laughs> i love this opening i love i love the terminator zero with the eye yeah that's pretty cool i like that a lot too and it is in association with skydance which you know was owned by the ellisons they did the last two movies it's like how dare you get me wet i'm still waiting to hear him talk the thing that's in it no he's not gonna oh well it's timothy oliphant right so it's gonna talk but the thing about it is He's got dead eyes. Oh, what is this? Who's scanning him? Another Terminator? What just scanned him? Another Terminator? I love that there's always rats around. Oh, he ki oh killed him with his underwear on. He was, do he was doing it in bed, and next Terminator came and like, Bleh! cock blocker. Dude, what's he making? Oh. oh, he's repairing himself. Oh, what the hell? Oh. Dude. That's new. That's cool. An EMP device, electromagnetic pulse. So those guns don't shoot ammo, they shoot electricity. That would short out the Terminator. It's heavily fortified. That's why he's walking away. In Terminator Rise of the Machines, the TX didn't know the whereabouts of uh, John Connor. So uh, it had to go after all the other lieutenants and start killing other teenagers. So this is what it's doing. Now that it can't go after the professor, it's going to try to start getting the kids. It's, it's raging no it's doing like dial up and it's going into the cat so it'll know th where they're at because the cat is with them oh that's so cool I know that she has used them to cross the city once before what the hell's wrong with a bus or a train she has a deep fear of taking public transportation there was an accident once <gasps> well that's my chance to run away <laughs> wait here i'll be right back there used to be an old pharmacy somewhere around here. You stay where you are. I promise I won't be long. Ah! Oh, sh she handcuffed herself. You're not getting away from me. <sighs> wow. 
What is it now? She has yeah, some... why does she, why is she freaking out about the blood? There's something about that's what she did in the. It's it's the scar from the bathroom that she saw. Maybe it's like you've done this before. He said, "No, you've done this before." There's something about her. This is gr I I really like this story. This is great. Will you tell me about your dreams again? Please don't. <laughs> I'm I'm sick of these dreams. Bodies right down to the skeleton. No one is left to bury them. It's a holocaust. From Middle English, holos meaning whole, and kaustos, which literally translates to the burnt. Burnt to nothing. That's exactly it. So even if a couple of hundred thousand live after the nuclear blast, it's still going to be a hell on earth. We're simply marching towards an endless death. You speak as if this has already happened, Malcolm. You don't know what I know. You don't know what I know. You, you know I know. He has to know something because his dreams. Beyond your own deeply ingrained survival instincts, what makes you believe that humanity is worth saving? Can you name for us a single good thing your species has done for this world? Uh. Well, uh. But what if I could show you that we can change? I could prove to you that we could be more. How will you do that? Doesn't matter how it's done. That's not important. <laughs> yes, it does. Dude, they didn't even answer the question. They're get, she's getting mad about him not answering her question. He, they're not answering his question. So we'll have an army of these guys. Maybe they'll turn these guys into protectors. But the Terminators look like they'll probably shred right through these guys. Yeah. They don't even look like they're good robots, you know? These look like eye robots. This is definitely like, I'm going to make us a sidekick. This is what he's doing right now. Yep, and that kid's eating candy. I'll give the show point, even more points if they kill off one of the kids. Yeah, let's do it. I think they will. There's no way they all survive. Rika, I'm with you. You don't have to go alone. Do you remember how Dak didn't even take us last year? Or even the year before that? Yeah, I know. Whoa! Oh, oh the Terminator's taking over. Kill it! Kill it! Dude, it's gonna lead them right to the Terminator. <laughs> this is great. Hello. What is your name? Kenta. What are you all doing down here? We marched down here four months ago, making use of the foreclosed shops in the city underground for surplus storage. You all marched together? They're gonna take they're there to take over. Can I go with? Well, <gasps> that's Timothy Oliphant. You could hear it. Why don't we get out of here? Uh, I'm good. Come on, give me your hand. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. One of the kids has to get killed, right? I would feel him like him. Survive. Oh, it'll be him. Oh, yeah. Yo! Oh, let's kill that kid. Snap his neck. Saved. It's going to be saved by the girl. Yeah. Of course. That kid would have been dead by the first yeah. grab. Oh, she's going to burn his face. What is that? Oh, hydrochloric acid. Oh. That's what she's throwing at him. Bottles of hydrochloric acid. That's cool. Ah! Oh! Ah! Why not break her neck, man? Comes that crossbow again. How much ammo do you got in that crossbow? Open the fucking door! Ye open, open the door, the you dumb kid! Open the door, kid! Ow! Oh, Ow. He, uh, he would have killed her, man. That that arm would have went right through her spine. Oh. She, she needs to be coughing out some blood or something. Uh, uh. Yep, there oh, we go. Oh, yeah, <laughs> there it is. There it is. Down the shaft. Was that a Terminator? Uh-oh. 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 Huh? How did she know through the plot thickens? Remember, the sentience that or the AI was saying, you're not telling us the whole story. What else do you know? They they oh they know about um the first movie. They know what happened. They have to. God damn it. Everything all right over there? Just stay where you are, please, and let's see some ID. 
that a gun? All right, hold it. Why can I have a gun? <laughs> They're in Japan. Guns uh, are illegal. Why do you think the guy's got a crossbow on his arm? They you can't uh, find weapons in Japan. I keep for I keep I keep forgetting about how different America and Japan are. Yeah. Which I think is a neat way to make the show yeah, where uh, you can't have massive weapons. That's why the building's being protected by EMP shooters. They shoot electromagnetic pulses. Dude, his gun even has a wire on it attached to him. Yeah, so no one can take it. I love this concept. How how would you stop something like that if you, you know, that's why she's using hydrochloric acid and stuff like that because she can't you don't have the materials. So Terminator 2 takes place in 1995. So this is two years after that. So he has to know about those situations then. Absolutely. Somehow Cyberdyne, you know, Skynet, all that, you know. I bet he worked for Cyberdyne. How much you want to bet? I mean, I that would make that would make sense for him to know all that. And like somehow and next maybe the kids somehow got the information. Or at least one at least the daughter. The plot is Jenkins. Um, yeah, I was not expecting the girl to know what a Terminator was. That was that's not what I was expecting. So that'll be interesting. I'm so so I'm trying to figure out. So if I don't think the a, their AI is going to go bad. If there would if their AI went bad, there would be no reason for the for Skynet to send back a Terminator unless. This AI is more powerful than Skynet, and says, and Skynet wants to be the most powerful one. There, and I, they're both evil. But I think it's mostly because this other AI is going to be good. I, I, my stupid Netflix started auto playing, so I saw the opening, like two seconds or whatever of the next episode. I was like, oh, okay, uh, sorry. No, you're good. That that was that auto play. Yeah, no, I'm with you, man. I'm with you with with with. with I, I mean, we've got the, the, the key to this whole thing is, um, the Malcolm, the professor, like, I think he used to work for Cyberdyne. How much you want to bet they're going to tie him into. It it would make more sense. And it, like, yeah. and so maybe Cyberdyne went out of business. Did they say who was in charge of Skynet before it went launched in judgment day? I don't think they did. Was it still Cyberdyne at the time? I I'm trying to remember um, the Skynet defense system in Terminator Three is the one that they launched the AI to squash all the problems that were going on on the on the uh, the internet. Yeah, like there were things happening, and then it took over. That's how it took over. But Cyberdyne made the Terminators themselves. Like they they were the ones that came up with that tech, but it was the AI that was created in Terminator three that became Skynet. Skynet was that military defense um, yeah. web that like surrounded the earth or something that they, that they, you know, in like uh, in internet land. Yeah. So I don't know. So that'd be interesting. And, you know, now thinking of Terminator three, did that one, that, that one take place in 1997 or did that one take place in a different. It took place a few years later because one of the explanations was, uh, um, you didn't stop Judgment Day. You it only just delayed. Post, you only postponed it. So, so this one, no, this every one time they, yeah, this one's not. So Terminator Three is not canon to this one. Well, it may not be. So it, it may not have happened yet. Oh, huh. that's true. We don't know the finale. So I'm we judging don't know the finale of this. Yeah. They could stop Judgment Day. Yeah, and it's connected to New, to Mary Three. Connected to who yeah. knows? Maybe, maybe that'd be interesting. I would like to see I would like to see Judgment Day, the original Judgment Day. So that would be I would be totally fine with that if that's how I'd it is. I'd be down with it. I'd be down with it. So, but yeah, very interesting. And you know, th you know, this is how you do it Disney if you want to do 30 minutes episodes per show uh per episode. Actually this is storytelling. A really good, this is really good storytelling. I'm not yeah. going to lie. I'm enjoying the storytelling of this Terminator 0. Yeah. So and this is probably the best Terminator thing, uh, like media since the first two. This is probably the best that we, at least so far. We don't know the execution. So, so far, so yeah. far, we got you know, you know, so far it's mirroring a lot of stuff that we've yeah. seen before. Uh, we're breaking a little bit of new ground, but again, I think a lot of it has to do with the setting that it's in Tokyo. There's no guns. 
They, they don't have weapons. They got to come up with new ideas to kill things. I, I think that's where this thing is going in a different direction, which is kind of neat. Yeah. So it's anyway, more, it's uh, more cerebral. It's yeah. Seems. More, you know? the, more the building up the, the suspense side of it. Um, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Let us know your guys' thoughts on the series so far. Thank you. Uh, and like always, we'll see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys.